Hello, my friends. This is BJ Owens. I'm the Dean of Trinity Cathedral in Cleveland, Ohio. Today is April 1st. It is Maundy Thursday. It is a snowy uh, Maundy Thursday. Here, I, I'll give you just a quick tour of what I'm what I'm seeing from outside my window. If you are uh, if you're joining us from somewhere other than Cleveland, that, that's what it looks like here. It's a uh, coincidentally, it's also opening day for baseball. I, I understand the team is on the road, so they don't have to play in the snow, which is good. We continue Holy Week. And we also, today, we begin the Tridium, the series of services, Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, the Great Vigil of Easter, which in many ways are one service continued in, as a drama that unfolds over three days. This year, we're doing the vigil a little differently than we have in past years. Last year, of course, we, were, we had just begun uh, worshiping via live stream and pre-recorded services, and we had just a very stripped down early morning service for the vigil. We're going to do a more complete vigil over live stream, but we're going to do it on Saturday night. And there are really two ways that the vigil can be done. One is on early on Sunday morning, and the other is to do it Saturday evening at sundown. That's what we're going to do here. And, and one is to, is to take advantage of that as a setting, but also one that we hope will allow more people to participate. And I don't just mean those uh, who otherwise would have a hard time getting up early. Uh, the, the vigil is a 6 a.m. experience uh, when we do it on the Sundays. Uh, it, this would allow folks for whom that's a little difficult. Also, make it a little bit easier if you wanted to do both the vigil and then, and then participate in Easter services the next day. Or in many cases... If you want to participate, be a part of our the Easter Vigil at Trinity, uh, I think it works best when it's a whole lot of different people from a whole lot of different churches coming and celebrating uh, together the one season of Easter. Uh, and then we each in our own respective churches celebrate together on Easter morning. There's a lot of possibilities that we open up by doing it. But more importantly, if you've never done the vigil, if you've never been to the vigil, and I know a lot of people haven't, I encourage you to explore it, especially this year while it's available over live stream. It's an ancient service. It's one that uh, was practiced in the early centuries. It was the high point of the Christian year, and, and it really fell away over the many centuries. At least um, by the time we got to the late uh, latter half of the 20th century, it wasn't a part of the Episcopal Church or many, many other churches. And by through scholarship, looking at those earliest liturgies, as well as looking around through uh, ecumenical relationships, seeing what other churches were doing, it unearthed this, this service, the vigil, and called a return to it. And over the last few generations, we've been recovering this, this really, this jewel uh, of our worshiping tradition. So if, if you've never done it, this is a great way to see it, experience it from the comfort of your home and, and on your couch, uh, a way of celebrating the very beginning of Easter, the first light of Easter together. It'll be live streamed at 8 p.m. Uh, and of course, because it's live streamed, it will then be available afterwards if you want to watch it at a time that's more convenient for you. Uh, we will uh, uh, also, our, our other Holy Week services will continue a little bit as usual, but with a few changes. Maundy Thursday is going to be tonight. It'll be at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, we will air this, uh, the video uh, for the Stations of the Cross, though that's already available to you. We'll be sharing it as a premiere for everybody to watch together, if they wish, at, at 11.30. Then the Good Friday service is at 12 noon. And then there'll be the concert, the Good Friday concert in the uh, on fr that tomorrow evening. And if you'd like a link to previous services of the Blues Lamentation services, services of uh, Blues and Lamentations, those will be available as well. I'm so grateful to be worshiping with you in the, over the next few days, and even though we can't be together, which uh, I, I miss more and more, and I realize the pain and the heaviness uh, of having this being our second Holy Week and our second Easter apart from one another. Um, please know that you are in my prayers. We are looking for opportunities when we can gather again safely. Uh, we're watching very carefully both the news, the progress of the vaccines, uh, as as well as watching uh, levels of uh, alert here in Cuyahoga County. So we are watching it very carefully uh, and looking forward to the day when we can again gather safely. Please join me in prayer. God be with you. Loving God, we offer thanksgiving for your gracious and abiding presence. And in this week 
of passion. In this in in Holy Week, when we walk alongside you through the most troubling of days and weeks, as we walk with you into the glorious light of the resurrection, we give thanks for that presence, and we ask that you transform and transfigure our hearts. Roll the stone away from our own hearts. Help us to be mindful and aware of your presence and help us to be vessels of your reconciling, resurrecting presence in the world. Be with us today and always. Amen.